Module 1, Lesson 14, Exercises 6 and 7. Now we have two reasonably complicated equations that we're going to solve through two different ways. One without ever using a negative, and then one by multiplying through by a half first. Let's see what it looks like. We'll look at the second one in a minute. Honestly, I have to say this left-hand side of the equation is a mess. I wouldn't even begin to start on this myself until I cleaned it up. So first thing I'm going to do is clean it up a little bit. This is negative 16, I can, excuse me, 18, negative 4 and negative 14, and then 2 minus 18 is negative 16t. And now I have something that's almost worth looking at, negative 6 minus 100t. Well, for me, I always like to find the quick way, and if I were to add 100 t to both sides, that would wipe out that and make that a zero. So let's go ahead and add 100 t. I'm going to get rid of this instruction so that you can see what we're doing here. We get, we know what we're doing two different ways. Once with no negatives, that's what we're doing now, and then once with a negative one half. So we're adding 100t over here as well, plus 100t. And we have 100 take away 16, 84t minus 18 is, and here's our zero pair, zero, greater than negative 6. This one can be lightened up by adding 18. Zero pair is here, plus 18. 84t is going to be greater than 12. And now we can finish divide by 84. So I'm sitting here hoping that 84 and 12, 12 does go into 84. If I write 84, it goes in seven times. So t is greater than um, 1 over 7. So what we're hoping is when we do this problem a second time that we're going to get the same answer. So let's go ahead and we'll take this guy here and let's start with our original cleaned up equation which was this one in purple, this guy. So, and it said this time we get to multiply by negative one half first. So negative 18 minus 16t times negative one-half, let's not let that bother us too much, is greater than, and then negative one-half times, and I'm running out of screen room, minus 100t. Hope this fits. All right, we're going to see. So the opposite, half of the opposite of negative 18 is 9. Half of the opposite of negative 16 is 8t. What we learned when we solved those other equations is that if we're going to go through with a negative, if we're going to go, if we're going to take the opposite of both sides, we need to take the opposite of the sign as well. And so now the opposite of negative 6, half of the opposite of negative 6, the opposite of the opposite is 3, and then the opposite of the opposite, this would be 50t. I hope we're rolling into a good answer. Let's find out. Oh, 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 yeah, no, I think we're okay. All right, so I think I feel inclined to subtract 8t from both sides. So minus 8t. Oh, so messy. Minus 8t. I hope you're doing a better job on your notes. 9. Now we can't have that. 9 is less than 3 plus 42t. Oh, Always worried, but I see this 42 and this 84. They're about half of each other, and we did go by half, so it makes sense. So we're going to need to subtract 3 from both sides. Minus 3, minus 3. We get 6 is less than... 42t, let me pick a better color, we're going to divide by 42, 42, and we get 1 7th is less than t. 
that is the same thing. T is everything greater than one seventh. T is greater than one seventh. One seventh is less than everything T. One seventh is less than everything T. We did it. Yay. I think I'm going to do exercise seven in class with you, so I'd like you to try it.